All right, I do. I got a hunch weirdly to talk into the mic, but this works. <laughs> I like to hunch, anyways. <laughs> I hear it's better for you. <laughs> so why does it smell uh, like a monastery in here? Because they brewed things there. I smell fermenting grain. Look uh, at how dirty I my sink is I right now. I smell wine. The wine I can attribute to something. To the wine. It's the wine. <laughs> <laughs> because, the one, you're sitting over the dishwasher that I think is dirty, and two, that is all food, and I cooked. I think the stew is underneath all of that. <laughs> the stew? <laughs> the eagle-eyed, stew from last episode. Eagle-eyed <laughs> listeners will remember the stew from last episode, which we recorded three ago. months ago. <laughs> a full week ago. Um... At least yeah. this is a regular wine glass. Dun, 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 it's not. <laughs> it's, a, it's a jar. I want The only hard alcohol I hear is whiskey. It's Rittenhouse whiskey and fucking... She's not Kyle whiskey. Jägermaster. Jägermaster. <laughs> Jägermaster debater. Jägermaster. It's just a German dom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something about masturbating, which is... Ooh. Tricking off with Jaeger is lube, I've decided. Ah! <laughs> it burns. <laughs> and it's really, it doesn't lubricate much at all because it evaporates quite quickly. And mostly a promotionary stunt, honestly. It's like yeah, using honestly, alcohol as lube. It, it evaporates so fast that I, there are abrasive injuries on my dick, which the Jaegermeister is getting into. So I'm drunk in a quite a bit of pain and still horny because <laughs> this is not going to make me Jaeger better. is actually a prophylactic. <laughs> Jaeger <laughs> is what you won't say if you jerk off with it, kids. What you're supposed to actually do is you're supposed to get it right above freezing point and then jerk off so with it. So it's viscous. It's yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know how, yeah, when you take vodka out of the freezer? Yeah. It's like that, but on your dick. I don't, people drink like Jaeger straight, and I don't get it. I've done shots of Jaegermeister, but that's sort of a, that's a ritual. It's not supposed to feel good. Similar to, this is Sitting in this fucking chair. Similar to sitting in this chair when they put those ants on their dick in the, the, the whatever culture they do that in. I think it's their hand, but yeah. Oh, they do it to their dick, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I uh, hereby deny that claim. Denied. <laughs> I, the, the documentary I remember is like... It, like everybody has to put some bit in there <laughs> so it's like are you gonna do your foot you're kind of a bitch are you gonna do your hand you're normal you're gonna do your dick you're, you're a warrior crazy <laughs> this guy's fucking crazy he'd be getting really late if his dick wasn't covered in <laughs> ant welts <laughs> and full of ants he did his balls <laughs> <laughs> well yeah because ants can get in the dick hole mm-hmm. it's just bits it's uh, just balls <laughs> it's just dicks what episode are we on by the way i know we passed 86. 69 without 86. nice we're almost at a hundo i don't know what we're gonna do for 100 probably kill a we guy. did nothing for 69 so we have to do something we'll have to do a 69 thing for 100 and then yeah. for 420 we can kill a guy <laughs> and then for i guess a thousand we'll do something weed what about 169 that's something. Yeah, that's, that's something. That's, uh, that's 690 uh, we can do something it's the diamond anniversary <laughs> You've got to put diamonds in each other's mouths. And then talk, try and talk. Just swallow yeah. a diamond. You know how bad that would suck? <laughs> oh, God, they're so sharp, and, it, and you will not digest it. Oh, no. It's coming out the other end just as it was. Oh, God, I hope I don't pee it out. Corn is, is the diamond of food. Own? Yes, <laughs> that's why only rich people get them. That's why poor people don't need health care. <laughs> uh, they're just <laughs> naturally more resilient. They don't get kidney stones because their diet consists of things other than diamonds. I was remembering. Like dirt and sadness. I was remembering the other day that my parents would get my parents. I would get complaints in class about how loud I breathe <laughs> so much that it got back to my parents and they still did nothing about <laughs> it. <laughs> like These never. Assholes would, breathing loud on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Never did they take me to a doctor to be like, why is this kid breathing so fucking loud? <laughs> It got back to my parents that I talked so much in class about not the right shit, and they did get me to a doctor about that. <laughs> See, but that helps. <laughs> That's no. what you're supposed. No. <laughs> now I just no, hide no. It. It, it. 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 They made me put away the real me. <laughs> I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about trains. My father was a conductor. <laughs> uh, he was electrocuted, <laughs> and he was very good at it. The other type of electrical conductor was what I was Oh, no, I got it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I thought it was a third rail thing. Oh, nice. Oh, by the way, uh, Will Smith hit Chris Rock. I don't uh, care. It's fine. I don't care. 
we had to mention it, but we you do. Know. We that so just so you can date this piece, right? That's there is the mention. Also, Dune won like six Oscars. Really? Dune. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's the that's why you're mad. Everybody's talking about Will Smith. Right I want to talk about Dune <laughs> with an N. <laughs> Teflon, shut the fuck up about Doom. <laughs> Doom three was so good. Though. Only Doom I care about is a mountain. Mount Doom, also known as Aradrin, in Mordor, the Black Land. In Hobbit. Uh, I don't think it's mentioned in that book. <laughs> Not going to get your goat at all about liking The Hobbit better than The Lord of the Rings. Why it's... would I care about the opinion of someone who thinks a Pop-Tart is ravioli? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a fair, it's a fair point. <laughs> I was asked about that on a date, and I got... Not too keyed up, but more than I should have. A little bit keyed up. <laughs> I can't remember what she was talking about, about the thing that people would mess with her about. And I was like, oh, mine is when people are wrong about food categories. <laughs> and you're done talking now because I'm going to talk <laughs> about got, food I've categories. Got, I've got some time on this one. <laughs> what you were saying, interesting, not as important as this. <laughs> the, the rage that I feel. You need to, is this Mouse Girl? Uh, Yeah. Nice. Who has again canceled the date on account of mouse. <laughs> Explain so, you for know, the listeners while I drink wine. I mean, we were supposed to go out tomorrow, and then she's like, oh, uh, someone was supposed to do the heart transplants today, but they got to do that tomorrow, and I can't work with the mice until they have the new hearts, and that's going to be late. So. <laughs> mouse heart transplants. And I was about to be like, I'm okay with late, winky face. Tongue emoji, not tongue <laughs> smiley plant, emoji. Volcano, just, water, water, water. Yeah, but just waves, not you know. Cause I'm uh, bad at this because no waves because of the volume of cum. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, but then I didn't want to, uh, you know, if there's a lot of mouse blood on her, I didn't want to get involved. Hair is good lube if you get it down to a certain temperature. That's <laughs> no, that's the thing about mouse blood is it, it works warm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. That's why they oh, raised like hot sake. <laughs> yeah, that's why they raised mice in medieval Europe it's for sex lube because <laughs> they hadn't invented natural vaginal lube because it was everything was just awful. Yeah, it was just mud and chlamydia. Right, that's actually had. why the Greeks were all so gay. It's because you had to lube up any hole, so <laughs> you might as well have been a child's butt. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Please don't isolate. Might as well have been a child's butt. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a TikTok. <laughs> Follow us on my... <laughs> Might as well have been a child's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Jurassic Park. <laughs> Sorry, my therapist is calling me. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff Goldblum is calling me through a T-Rex's ass actually kind it's, of thing. Uh, it might as well have been... Oh, I see. This is... Uh, this lube works quite well. You could put this on... Oh, anything. <laughs> it's not a good Jeff Goldblum. I'm so tired. Life uh, finds a way to fuck. <laughs> my wife That's why I'm drinking finds wine. a way. Is <laughs> my wife? Uh, she find the way to make my life hell. I'm tired. I'm only doing boomer humor. You ever mm. seen a computer? <laughs> Those are for faggots. Oh my god! We recorded. So the video I had to record the other day was of literally a half hour of just a boomer doing boomer jokes. Her, <laughs> she did 15 minutes on Survivor, but with millennials. Oh, so it was like it was hard because no phone. Yeah, yeah. It was like... Cool. No, oh, so here's what you do. If you want 30 free seasons of Survivor, you put millennials on an island. It's just this. <laughs> There's yeah. no twist? On an island with... They get four things. They get... Um, printed out paper map they get a rotary okay. phone oh right in a stick shift car <laughs> they, a stick shift car right and I black think, coffee i forget what the fourth one was but it was an it was the same fucking thing. you want to you want to see an absolutely insufferable episode of survivor put 30 boomers on an island without a service worker to abuse and see how quickly <laughs> they die <laughs> Uh, the, the, her, it was her audience, though. Holy shit, let right. me tell you. The, the only people who Okay, there... so lock those doors for the <laughs> episode I'm talking it. about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty great. And it's like, there, she did like 10 minutes on stick shift cars. And it's like, every if you lock somebody in a stick shift... Oh, oh no, no, no. It the was same a, amount of millennials drive stick as Gen Z or, or yeah, Gen X or Yeah, now... <laughs> At this point, yeah, maybe like her parents, everybody knew how to drive stick. Yeah. 
And shut up, everybody! <laughs> shut the fuck up. She's like, here's a here's an alternate one. Uh, you lock as many millennials as you can get in a car. Uh, the car stick shift with manual windows and all of their clues. millennials don't know how a crank works. <laughs> and all of their cu- clues are on a cassette tape. Oh. In the car. Uh, also, cassette tapes are like people are getting those as novelties now. That's the annoy. The annoying thing about young people is that they do know how cassette tapes work. She's a. F- I fucking hate her. Fuck her. Yeah, she. That was literally. She did a half hour of just that shit. Honestly, Boomer Survivor would be a bunch of people sitting around a fire with like, with like the emaciation and the pot belly that comes from starvation, <laughs> and going, boy, my fucking medium well steak is taking a long time. <laughs> it's probably that vaguely ethnic service worker's fault. <laughs> and then I- they all die. And then Jeff Probst comes on and he goes, you're welcome. I did this to kill them. The only way they would let me is if I made it a show. I wanted to do it with a gun. And then Jeff Probst is like dragged off of the stage. Kicking and screaming. And he's forcibly put on that jet ski that he rides to the finale. Uh, Fucking cargo shorts streaming in the wind. (laughs) One of the pockets is like off. So it's like there's only one side left on. So it's like flapping in the wind. Yeah, because he has to get ripped (laughs) away from the set. More like Jeff Probstly gonna kill a boomer. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was funny. I hate my wife. And then Jeff Probst comes up behind them. Literally, she started the set with fucking some, like, I saw a millennial, I handed a millennial map quest directions the other day, and they, they tried to zoom in with the oh, oh, Wow. That was her opener. <laughs> we know what paper is. <laughs> Also, millennials are like 40. <laughs> yeah. I'm the youngest millennial and I have arthritis. And a stick shift car. Yeah, also I have a stick shift. I mean, no one else does. Also, I have a stick shift Kia, which I think says something about me. Also, if any human being of any age or time period, even of the fucking dark ages, was locked in a, in a stick shift car... A day, they'd figure it out. Yes, uh, and it, and that's uh, you know, from medieval times. Medieval peasants know how cranks work. <laughs> if you're stuck in a car and there's a crank next to something you can see through, it's going to take set just... Oh, what if I move that? Will that help at all? <laughs> and then climb out the window. Oh, yeah, she, she was... Manual locks was the other big joke. And it was like, you don't... Ma- there, no, there were never were. poor millennials. <laughs> yes. Also, there never were actual manual locks. They were always automatic. Yeah. Just broken, I guess. So I, I didn't have the heart to go up to her afterwards and tell her, like, hey, my first car started with a light switch, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Put a millennial in a room with a normal light switch that's not powered by Alexa, and then they won't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. And also, I, also, by the way, imagine if you were, like, if you were in World War Two times and you were like, man, if you put, you know... If you put kids today in a room with no electricity, they'll think that's weird. Yeah. Technology has progressed. Yeah. It would be strange to still be using the technology of 20 years ago. Also, I'm so mad at this lady. Also, you know what's stranger? Talking to Alexa in full sentences. Yeah, that's not how that works. <laughs> Like, hello, Alexa, would you please? Already, it doesn't understand we, what's going on. We don't do jokes about you because it's mean-spirited. Because <laughs> you, you can't help yourself. You look like a baby when you <laughs> use technology made in this century. And you're, and you're like, oh, I... And, that, and that's why they do it. Because they're like, when they see a computer, they're like, no, no page? <laughs> no page? Where is leather? How open? So you assume that when we see a book, we have to be like, we're on Switch. No light. <laughs> but it, when, in fact, it's like, yeah, it's a book. No, it's a book. I know how those go. Oh, a rotary phone. Neat. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the fourth one was uh, an analog clock. <laughs> those are kind of a pain in the ass, but we can all figure them out. Yeah, no, it just takes us. I, I can't that. look at it and just know. I have to go like, where are the hands? I have to look at it for an extra half a fucking second. Right. That's all it is. Now, could you ch- can you change something. your computer to daylight savings time? Try it, Brenda. <laughs> the joke is it's automatic. <laughs> On everything I know, but past Windows 98. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's automatic now because they're going to get rid of daylight savings time. Thank the Lord. So you have to spend more on daylight in taxes. <laughs> this is... What the fuck? <laughs> Somebody's out there saying, well, the Earth is clearly flat because they're trying to get rid of daylight savings time. Because, yeah, they had to really fuck with the... the 
the light switches that turn the sun on to get daylight savings Dude, time to work. Austin, my crazy friend who does not Does he believe the earth is flat? God. Yes, that's the I didn't know he believed that. What? I told you this. Multiple. I knew he believed many insane things. I didn't know he believed oh, yeah, the most yeah, fun. Yeah. He's been going live on Instagram a lot recently. Oh, I haven't God. watched a single Ooh. one. I can't bring myself. I'm going to comment. Every time he sends me something, it's 40 images he screenshotted from some crazy person's fucking bullshit. First of all, the earth is shaped like, like a Pringle retard. Graphs and shit. <laughs> Crafts of nothing. It's, I'll, hang on. Let's let's do a quick section. H- has he has he done the thing where he becomes just a Nazi, which is where all conspiracy theories Give end up minute. going? He's not there yet. But the, all conspiracies, oh yeah, you conspiracy blame theories it on just end up going like, and now they're Nazis. Yeah, obviously you got to blame it on somebody. Watch in search of a flat Earth on the Folding Ideas YouTube channel. He's a very cool no. guy. <laughs> this guy's name is no. He, it's not a pro flat Earth documentary. It's a documentary oh. about flat Earth people. Oh, I've seen the Flat Earth documentary that's not that. Well, there's several of those. I'm you talking about a different one. block me because that'd be hilarious because well, I just stop responding. To are this. you Jewish? Because that would indicate that he has gone to the Nazi level. See, I don't want him to ever get to the Nazi level. I want him to get to the level where he tells women about how he's sonically increasing the size of his dick. Because he is doing that. Just Well, he's shooting sound waves at his cock. He, uh, that he's doing. So I can't find any... I can't find any... like. Flat Earth ones immediately. I mean, I've seen his numerology screenshots. Yeah, yeah. Here's Norm Macdonald dead at sixty one. Norm Macdonald equals sixty one. Full reduction in blue parentheses. Norman okay. five six. It's literally just the numbers of. Is that, it's just associating numbers to letters, right? And then yeah, but the, also one seventy three is the fortieth prime number. Okay. What? The date is it the fortieth prime number though? I don't know. Probably not. That seems no. high. There's not 40 prime numbers between 0 and 100 and whatever you just said. 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. Okay, so the numbers that... 23. The numbers are... 31. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Stop. 37. Um, 41 would be 1. 43. I don't think 47 is. 49 is not. Hang on. 51. No, I'm gonna let me get through them. Uh, Are you really going to go through 40 <laughs> prime numbers right now? Um, okay. 53. So in this first one... 69. Nice. Uh, in this first one, O equals 6, right? Okay. In this so one... Why? O e- I don't know. In this one, O equals 15. In the very next one, O equals 3. What? And then O equals three for a little bit. Uh, yeah, it still equals three over here. Is he, is he just o, solving o equals, Norman for the for sixty one? O equals twelve now. This is just an exercise on how to make Norman equal sixty one. Yeah, not even, it's not. A equals twenty six here. That's that's the exactly only wrong that. answer. <laughs> uh, what? Well, how does? I, see, it, I don't like it when they don't make any sense. No. Yeah. How does the numbers just change when it's just total bullshit? See, yeah. I like Flat Earth because they talk about, like, fantasy continents that are beyond the ice wall that's actually encircling yeah. us. Well, that's they dope. watched Game of Thrones. and <laughs> Right. And I just, yeah, so I want to learn about the fantasy continents. I, th- I, would like to, I would like to read fantasy set on those continents. You might like Scientology. I, yes, as sci-fi. <laughs> yes. L. Ron Hubbard was, like, a good sci-fi author. Yeah. <laughs> the man who wrote the most sci-fi ever. <laughs> Right, and just it's started not calling close. It the next, the next guy isn't even fucking close. And then at some point, it's just like, and now that's a religion. Sci-fi authors are either really cool or really shitty. Like Robert Heinlein was a really good sci-fi author, but he wrote Starship Troopers, and you were supposed to be on the side of the fascist government. And then there's no, like, you're supposed to be on the side of the bugs there. In the movie, you are. Oh. In the, the book is not ironic. Oh. The book is not aware. Oh, no. But it's better sci-fi than the movie. The movie is just a really good joke about fascists. Damn, which the he must hate was. the movie. I'm sure he did. I mean, he's dead. I don't know if you ever saw the movie. But the, oh, and then the oh, other yeah, sci-fi authors movies. are like, you know, so of the, Philip K. Dick, who is like, be careful of techno-fascism, and Ursula K. Le Guin, who is like, capitalism's bad. Good. All the Neuromancer guy's a lib now, but you know. He's well, I lib. only know that George R. R. Martin and L. Ron Hubbard are both equally bad. Is George R. R. Martin bad? It's just because he hasn't released the next book okay, or whatever yeah, that, the fuck. <laughs> the joke was equally there. <laughs> I, I just get it, yeah. No, it's over. I don't care how it ends. Game of Thrones... Yeah. Game of Thrones was was a cultural phenomenon, not a literary phenomenon. Yeah. And I have, and I have gone to the end of that. I gotta rewatch it. 
You, you don't have to. I, I want to rewatch okay. it. It was really, really good. Um, but no, boobs so of my, love that, uh, of the, uh, so growing up I had 100 DVDs pretty much was my entire media exposure was we had just a wall of 100-ish DVDs. But it was all Bruce Almighty. <laughs> so well, Bruce Almighty was one of them. Uh, and so was Evan Almighty, Almighty actually. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why? Yeah, I don't know. They probably came in a pack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... So, oh, of those DVDs, we would just rewatch the shit out of some of them. So, we had all the X Men, so I've seen those wrote into memory. The no, I've movie. seen Bruce Almighty a lot. Yes, I mean, same. I've seen it. There's girls in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Get him, monkey. <laughs> Back to where you came from, little fella. <laughs> I'm uh, God. Uh, yeah, that, that classic line from Bruce Almighty. <laughs> I um, remember the line in it when he goes, Bruce, you're Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but one of the the other movies in there was pretty much all of the Starship Troopers was in there. So I will. There's more. There are three or four. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're probably not good after the first one. No, the second one is actually the best one. Is it Paul Verhoeven again? No, I don't think so. I are you sure the second one's the best one? I remember the second as being my favorite, but the uh, Hobbit but is, is it also be- my the favorite. best to a child. Probably, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I would probably still like it, but I like the first one because of. The point it makes. The second one makes the same point, but hits you over the head with it, and then the action scenes are actually pretty fucking badass, too. No, that's probably pretty good. Yeah, no, it's really good. And it's, then the third one's just ass. <laughs> just ass. Wall-to-wall ass. I think Neil Patrick Harris is in it for like two frames. He is, I was going to say, is Neil Patrick Harris also a Nazi in the second one? No, because he dies in the first one. No, he doesn't. So he died in the first one. No, he comes up... He, he shows up at the end and he's like, it's afraid. I'm in an SS uniform. I think he dies in the second one then. But he, they bring him back in the third. No, oh, because, you know, starships. No, because bug brain creature. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Was the bug giant bug brain in the first one? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, they had, that's what he, he puts his hand out and goes, it's afraid. They become a bigger part towards the end there. Oh. Good for them. Well, no, I mean, if you're going to follow a thread in Starship Troopers, that's probably the, the one brain to follow. Bug. Yeah, yeah. The brain bug is the exciting one. Mm-hmm. It does suck a few brains out of heads. Which is cool. Yeah. I think it stops doing that towards the end, because everybody's like, that's kind of fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I haven't seen them in a minute. The first one's great. My favorite part about it is how in this fascist society, there are very strict rules, but your favorite guys never have to follow them. <laughs> it's like you have to have military discipline, except you don't, because you're the guy, you're the cool guy, and that's how conservatives are. They think there should be very rigid rules for society, but like white people don't have to follow. Them. Yeah, which is just a god awful belief system. Yeah, but you know, if you take just a, it is astonishing how many people are conservative because if you take a second to examine a lot of the principles, it's very easy. Well, n- nobody potent. thinks of their ideology as it actually is. No one is actually... True. The only people who think about their ideology as an ideology are Marxists. Because uh, we're the best. guys. <laughs> Don't vape at me. <laughs> I vaped at the mic. Do you, do you vape your thumb at me, sir? Three-suited knave? I bet that's not even like... It's like 20 Nick, you fucking it's slave. Five, actually. How much is Big Nick? 50. Now, how much is the guy, Big Nick, that I would like to buy? <laughs> 12 inches. And if you ask him, he can uh, go again. You knew what I was asking. <laughs> he can go again, too. <laughs> oh, good, because the stock footage wouldn't match. It's a uh, line from Boogie Starship Nights. Troopers. Boogie oh. Nights is mandatory viewing for this podcast. If you oh, yeah, haven't you're not going to get You're not going to get it if you haven't seen Boogie Nights a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, you know, you did a couple watch-throughs. The TK421, baby. <laughs> that's right. I know that name. That's the name of a star... Uh, that's the... In Star Wars, uh, when they're like, uh, hey, uh, never mind. I'm so tired. I've said this. <laughs> the wine helps. You wake up. TK421 has something to do with, with Star Ultra. Wars. Oh, okay. oh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> they got him high and then made him watch fucking Star Wars. Fucking maybe. <laughs> that sounds. I mean. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't add up. I mean, there is a government program which was like, get them high and show them fucked up videos, and then maybe we can get them just like kill Patrice Lumumba. And then there is a, a government program which is like, we're gonna do Star Wars real. <laughs> yeah, it's the Space Force now. 
Well, there is that, but there was a problem that was literally called Star Wars. If I get if I get drafted in the military, I'm going to request to transfer to Space Force. If I get drafted into the military, I'm going to frag my commanding officer. <laughs> so don't. <laughs> this is a warning. I'm mentally unstable. Oh, this this is a good podcast. Oh, yeah. Just, just walk in with like a stack of floppy disks. Like you're going to want to go through these and <laughs> document all of the periods where I just. I'm saying something and then suddenly I'm not. <laughs> or I'm saying something and suddenly I'm saying something else. Or just something directly against what your institution says. Or for. I've said, like, I would rather die than serve this country. This, <laughs> and this country deserves to die. All of its enemies are the good guys. <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of reasons to see if you sent me to Europe, me, watch me just walk to the other side right, yeah, no, and if, defect. <laughs> if you ever, like, Shanghai me into a military, military, don't let me get my hands on any white cloth. Because <laughs> I'm running that up immediately and going over to the other guys and going, I'm sorry, I have no skills, but... <laughs> Whatever you need. Yeah, I'll go get water or whatever. <laughs> I will and gladly shoot my countrymen. And I'll probably live happier there for the 20 minutes I do. Yeah, because you're going right to the front line, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <they're, laughs> maybe they won't shoot him. And if they do, eh. <laughs> it's a win-win on this side. <laughs> and I'll be like, yeah. I mean, otherwise I was going to have to kill a few people that didn't deserve it. And now at least I can shoot at people who do. I mean, also don't deserve it, but deserve it a little bit more. Yeah. I hear Ukraine's going to be over soon. Good. I don't know if I'm talking about the country of the war, but one of those is true. Yeah. We'll be over soon. Yeah. Either this shit's going to escalate real fucking fast. Well, because we put all those sanctions on Russia, so it'll be crazy to see if we lift those sanctions when they stop going after Ukraine, because the U.S. no chance wants to lift those sanctions. You think I can edit this episode before the nukes fall? (laughs) Yeah, probably. Tune in to find out. If you're listening, yes. Can you (laughs) listen to this entire episode before the nukes fall? (laughs) Mm-hmm. I can't know that. <laughs> that is for no, between God it's a no, and you. It's a no. It's a no. Go out and have sex with someone. You don't uh, do this. Yeah, why? This shouldn't be your last. <laughs> Unless they're jerking off to this with Jaeger. Uh, okay. You, I'm back on board. Then the Jaeger, <laughs> then the Meister's... <laughs> The Meister's going to get all in their system. I'm going to start calling Jaeger instead of calling it Meister. Jaeger. I'm going to call it Meister, and everyone's going to hate me. Uh, Everybody already does. But the Meister will get in your system and make you delirious, and it'll be like that DMT, DMT trip before you die. Which, what if right before you die, you took a shitload of DMT? <laughs> would you double DMT? Or no, or would it cancel each other out? <laughs> oh, see, that's a risk. <laughs> then you just experience death <laughs> lucidly. <laughs> Not high. Damn, that's got to be the worst way to experience death. Sober? Right, yeah, I was, uh, no chance, buddy. <laughs> Hard pass. Get, <laughs> Get the fucking lewds done. Get the fucking lewds done. Steve Mez, <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Yeah, what are the? I mean, probably a bunch of people didn't make it into the movie because they overdosed <laughs> from that. Company. Did any of his friends overdose? Uh, they were all rich, so no. Yeah, they don't worry about giving you Narcan if you're rich. If you're poor, they're like, well, we can afford Narcan. Maybe he can die. It's astonishing how hard poor people prop up the prop up the very economy and country that everybody benefits on, and how shittily they're treated at the same time. Yeah, there's. Um there's some serious theories about why that is. Because <laughs> it's easier to keep them there. <laughs> well, you know, it's more. You know, there is this guy named Mark Carl. <laughs> There's literally a guy uh, in uh, in the road. He names his friends like it's a Romano Clef, so it's supposed to not really be real, but it's all just his obviously his friends. And one of his friends is just named Carlo Marx. <laughs> nice. It's like, oh, I, is that a reference to something? Crazy. Jack. <laughs> the Road's a bad book, by the way. I fucking... Is, so, if you're also mad about the politics... Movie where, sorry, the movie where Kristen Stewart has sex is good, but the book is bad. Continue. <laughs> yeah, so, if you're also very mad about politics, you have two options. One, either form a union, or two, either directly tell your boss that you're being very bad at your job because of the way you're treated, <laughs> and then watch them not be able to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the route I the which is the second path in the yellow wood and it is the one I am taking. Right. <laughs> well, way leads on to way, so maybe we can form a union. But there is a third path in the yellow wood, and it's Eating just people. Next guy wearing a suit, just bite him. I don't care if you I don't care if you swallow, bite him. <laughs> <laughs> I I was having a conversation with somebody the other day. Uh, the girl who also uh, likes Lord of the Rings better than The Hobbit. Weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
she <laughs> or was this you um i forget who it was but uh it was just like somebody came into the class they were in uh and just loudly complained to the entire class don't ever get a trust fund the taxes on it are a nightmare <laughs> and they just went and sat down and the teacher had eat to them. take a minute eat eat them <laughs> the teacher had to take a minute to not eat them uh the wrong move eat them <laughs> teacher wasn't tenured so you got to eat them after you get tenure. Oh, God, if you have tenure, you better be eating the bad students if you're not tenured (laughs) colleagues. That's solidarity, folks. (laughs) I'll eat them for you. I'm so full today, but, you know, my my proby friend has a lot of shitty students in their class (laughs) that I had to consume. (laughs) Body and soul. If you're not eating their soul, it's not working, folks. The souls will pop out of them, just hop onto someone else's body like a thetan or a cruciform (laughs) parasite. (laughs) That is what Dark Souls is actually about. Thetans? <laughs> it's pronounced thetans. It's pronounced wheat thins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's there's ghosts in there. <laughs> there's ghosts in them, they're wheat thins. <laughs> wheat thins! There's ghosts in there! <laughs> Buy them! <laughs> that's a short commercial, but it's Ooh, that's effective. actually That's actually good bits. It's schizophrenic ads. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cheerios, you put them in your heart and you can love better. <laughs> Buy them, they told me you have to. <laughs> Just a man weeping for the other 25 seconds of the commercial. Just. <laughs> Cheerios! <laughs> Delilah, why'd you leave me? <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> That's no, buy whole, Nike, buy Nike. Uh, that's the whole Nike commercial. Is a man crying for 29 seconds and then the last one second is just do it. Yeah, so it is just... <laughs> just do it. <laughs> Bang. Buy Nike, buy Nike. Don't not kill yourself. Just buy Nike. Whichever, it doesn't... <laughs> just do it. Bang. <laughs> the Nike. Oh, wow. All right, get another one. <laughs> then the Nike logo just... We took people directly out of the Nike sweatshop factory <laughs> and we forced them to make this commercial. <laughs> Just crying. Ow. Ow. <laughs> it hurts to sit. My legs are broken from the suicide nets. <laughs> they, they do prevent suicide, but I'm they hardly don't alive. Shit up. <laughs> There's a punishment in the sci fi book I'm reading where, like, if you're, con- if you're suspected of a crime, they take your brain out of your body and put it in a computer, and they keep your body cryogenically frozen until the trial. And then after the trial, they just burn your body and turn the computer off. Jesus. <laughs> it feels like there's a better way to do that. But Jesus. All sci-fi must include horrible, horrible body horror, I think. Yeah, that's fair. Well, economically, I feel like <laughs> we're arguing right now that the death penalty isn't cost-effective, so imagine that bullshit. I mean, it is somewhat a parody of our own society, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, sci-fi relates to today's times? Yeah. When? I had a legitimate Name argument. Name ten examples. <laughs> uh, the movie Nine. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, that one's a pretty loose fit. I had a legitimate argument with someone that they were saying that, like, uh, someone was like, what, you think the characters in Lord of the Rings are bad for killing orcs? And I was like, no, the criticism of Lord of the Rings would be that orcs are totally inhuman and it's an entire culture with no civilians. That's a criticism you could make. And then everybody else was like, oh, I see. And then one person was like, but they're not humans. They're orcs. And I was like, well. It's your criticism on the writing, not the facts, fix, buddy. Well, well fiction <laughs> relates to and comments on and represents <laughs> the real world. And they were like, what in Lord of the Rings? Is in the real world. The rest of it. <laughs> and I was like, well, first of all, people. <laughs> people. We do have swords. Hobbits. <laughs> Hobbits are real. You're not supposed to call them that. They get mad. <laughs> Hobbits in real life are, like, more ill-tempered and <laughs> have less weed, generally. Yeah. But that one on Jackass probably has a lot of weed. His name is Weed Man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. <laughs> We're not joking. You're in a parallel universe where his name is Weed Man. Mandela Effect. Mandela affected. Da, da, da. <laughs> Mandela affected. <laughs> <laughs> I would love it if there was a show where they just you went ar- you went around with an interdimensional portal gun and you shot it behind someone yelled Mandela affected and then kicked it through <laughs> it into a universe where Frosted Flakes had a lion for a mascot. And that's the only difference, but they do go insane because they know that that's not their real family. <laughs> it is every other part of them. It is. Right. Ah, uh, jeez, Rick, I didn't know that it was... I thought it was a tiger mascot, but it's a lion, apparently. Frosted Flakes, Rick. 
There was a Sliders episode about that, not the White Castle show. The show about uh, the people who slide through yeah. parallel different. I never. Huh. You never saw Sliders? No. I've explained it on the podcast multiple times. But I don't think that's accurate. The, this jump might be the last one home. That is not Sliders. What's it called? That is the show Jumpers? where Scott Bakula turns into a Down Syndrome guy. Yes. And it is called Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap. Thank you. I'll call it Sliders still. Okay. With a Z. <laughs> I think you may be from a Mandela universe where that show existed because it's not this one. <laughs> Anyways, Quantum Leap. There was an episode where they... Uh, Gaslight! Where they hop back to their time and that the clock was off because of daylight savings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> so it was the right time, but they checked the watch and they're like, it's off by an hour. We must be missing something. Let's go to the next time. <laughs> and then they skip. And that's what we're trying to prevent with this new bill. <laughs> yes. And that's why I think Biden should... Be veto it because that'd be the funniest thing ever and he's gonna he's gonna veto that i still think yeah. his last day in office he cancels student loans just so he gets reelected. he no he won't he doesn't need to get re- first of all joe biden will not be reelected. he will die or not run it's there's no that's fair Those his fair. purpose is to die now like the country so d bones get back get back in office D Bones, Donald Trump. D-bones? I know, but D Bones is what we're going it's with. His rap name, D Bones. I was gonna go with D Rumpo. D Rumpo, ooh, better. D Rumpo, he make your head bumpo. He put kids in cages. His ops be in rages. <laughs> ah, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> no, but D Bumpo, uh, <laughs> it's D Bumpo now. <laughs> I, I, Deep Bumpo feels like he has to be a different character. <laughs> That's a dinosaur mascot. That's what that is. Hi, I'm Deep Bumpo, <laughs> and I'm the president now. And we're going to put you all in cages. Not just the Mexican uh, kids, all you in cages. <laughs> I'm Deep Bumpo, voiced by Bobcat Goldthwait. <laughs> that is, uh, that is uh, the old Sia character on the Bozo show. <laughs> Deep Bumpo. Uh, Deep Bumpo. <laughs> I think Reagan was right about a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Deep Bumpo. I I like how he liked gay people, but uh, I'll let them die anyway. I'm <laughs> this is a very controversial clown. Uh, I'm Debumpo. I think Jimmy Carter should have kept his peanut farm. That one's not so bad. But I also think Jimmy Carter should have done more war crimes. I'm Debumpo. <laughs> I'm uh, Debumpo. I, I don't think Nixon should have resigned. I think what he did was okay. <laughs> I'm glad Henry Kissinger's still alive. I wish he had his legs. Uh, I'm Debumpo. <laughs> I'm Dee Bumpo. The one problem with Lee Harvey Oswald is he didn't finish the job. JFK's still alive. I'm Dee Bumpo. <laughs> uh, and I'm Dee Bumpo. Trudeau's not Castro's son. Castro is Trudeau's son. Through an X-Men style time warp. I'm, I'm Dee Bumpo. I'm Dee Bumpo. I don't stand with Russia or Ukraine. I'm Dee Bumpo. <laughs> uh, I'm Dee Bumpo. I only stand with the Azov Battalion. <laughs> I don't even know I'm that Bumpo. Is. I think Ukraine should be denazified by consolidating the Nazis in their own country in the Middle East. <laughs> I'm Bumpo. Give the Nazis Israel. I'm Bumpo. I wouldn't do that because that would affect Israel negatively. Bumpo <laughs> loves Zionism. <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, he does. I'm Bumpo. Palestinian kids should all have targets painted on their heads. I'm Bumpo. <laughs> it's just the next logical step for Republicans is what Bumpo believes. Yeah, no, Bumpo is just a, a wacky serial mascot who believes like exactly half a tick more insane than Republicans. <laughs> uh, I'm Deep Bumpo. I think the moon is flat because of Jews. Yeah, I'm Deep Bumpo. Why do you think we only see one side of it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Deep Bumpo. Oh, I love Deep Bumpo. <laughs> He's pretty good. Uh, Deep Bumpo. We'll come up later in the episode. What else can we talk about? Deep Bumpo actually is just the same... The same muse within me as Summary Goblin. <laughs> I just want to do a weird nasally voice and say horrific things. <laughs> and make it very clear that he's not Jewish. Right, exactly. Very clear. This is an Italian clown. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, children. I've brought you a new friend today who's going to teach him. <laughs> uh, Auntie Bumpo. You can't get pregnant for vaginal sex, kids. Uh, Auntie Bumpo. Unless you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Bumpo. <laughs> Auntie Bumpo. Only lesbians get pregnant. Auntie Bumpo. <laughs> Wow, children, this is interesting <laughs> knowledge. You should write that down. And believe it. <laughs> Make sure you write really messily. I'm Deep Bumpo. <laughs> I'm Deep Bumpo. Messy handwriting is a sign of intelligence. I'm Deep Bumpo. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think that is that actually is that not true? Is that just what people told me? Because I write like I am autistic. That's just what people tell everybody. <laughs> every because every guy has messy handwriting. That's true. So how would it be? <laughs> you think just the dumb guys are taking the time to write well? No, it's the gay ones. I'm Debumpo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Debumpo. I think women should have to pay on the dates. That's the only feminist thing I do believe. <laughs> I'm Debumpo. <laughs> and for the wrong reasons. <laughs> I'm Debumpo. I didn't want Clarence Thomas on the Supreme Court because he's black, but I like him now. Yeah, well, oh, who died? Who died? Is it no Brett? No died, but he's close died. to dying. Who? It's Clarence Thomas. He was a Republican? conservative judge. Yeah. Nice. We got one. Yeah. He believes things that Debumpo believes. Uh. I'm Debumpo. I want to be on the Supreme Court. Come on, Dad. Put me on the Supreme Court. <laughs> His dad is Ted Cruz. <laughs> Ted Cruz. <laughs> My son, Debumpo. <laughs> Ted Cruz. Can we just I do literally... a different podcast where I just do weird voices? That's, <laughs> That's all I No, want. you can just do this on the, this <laughs> podcast. Uh, Bumpo. I don't think Callan should have a podcast where he gets to do my voice. Uh, Bumpo. He can just do it here. I literally got... Can we get, can we get Pete Davidson to play Bumpo? <laughs> <laughs> you do a good job. He already has the uh, voice. Bumpo. I'm fucking your wife, Kanye. <laughs> do something about it. Uh, Omni Bumpo. Jada Pinkett Smith is bald. <laughs> <laughs> Smack. <laughs> uh, did you see Kanye or uh, uh, Pete Davidson took a lie detector test? No. About Kanye. <laughs> it was great. No. It was like, are you afraid of Kanye? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Is he is he lying? No. <laughs> you should be afraid of Kanye. He's an, he's an absolute wild card, even if yeah. he is five two. <laughs> Auntie Bumpo, I think Kanye is the baseline for normal people. <laughs> Auntie Bumpo, yes, I forgot is. the word I was looking for. <laughs> Schizophrenia? Yeah. Bipolar disorder? You down with BPD? Yeah, you know <laughs> me. <laughs> uh, Auntie Bumpo, I've been boofing heroin. <laughs> <laughs> if you put it in your butt, it goes reverse. <laughs> That means I'm super it hyped. It gets the heroin out of you. I'm Bumpo. If you boof cocaine, you'll go to sleep forever. <laughs> I'm Bumpo. Because it had fentanyl in it. I'm Bumpo. I invented heroin or fentanyl. <laughs> I'm Bumpo. I wish she had died in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> yeah, she came pretty close. I'm Bumpo. Not close enough. <laughs> I wanted her to touch God. <laughs> I'm Debumpo. If I touch God, the universe will end. <laughs> I'm Debumpo. I'm probably the devil. <laughs> Debumpo in different time periods because he's been alive forever. <laughs> I'm Debumpo. Let them eat cake. <laughs> uh, I'm Debumpo. I fucked your horse. <laughs> Norman, finally, you've enjoyed one of my friends. It's just crits crossover. Uh, Sorry, people who hate a, D&D but like this. Very easy. You know, your dad. <laughs> I'm Debumpo. I want you to suffer, Tom. <laughs> I'm Debumpo. <laughs> the, clearly, the therapy you got, Kellen, in the young age did not work. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, I'm Debumpo. I was that therapist. I made him worse. Uh, hang on. I got to play Debumpo's serious NPR counterpart for a little while. Oh, <laughs> while you continue. Need to do regular <laughs> debumpo, but I don't know his name. <laughs> the serious NPR debumpo? Yeah. Wait, wait, is he an actual guy, or are we just making up a new guy? We're making up a new guy. It's it's. Uh, I'm debumpo. I'm the only one. There's no one else in here. <laughs> I'm debumpo. That's why he says I'm debumpo all the time to make people think that he he's no other personality. To ground him right. in <laughs> the personality. That's what, it's the most powerful of right. his split personality disorder. <laughs> I'm debumpo. <laughs> well, I'm back. H. Crumpo. I think that <laughs> all of this has gone way over. Right. I'm H. Crumpo, and I believe nothing that he believes and vote a completely different direction. I'm Bumpo. I've been trying to kill him for decades. <laughs> I'm H. Crumpo. He doesn't know that if he kills me, he kills himself. I'm D. Bumpo. I know he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm D. Bumpo. I'm... Split was actually very insensitive to people with my disease. <laughs> I am H. Crumpo, and I much prefer Inside Out. <laughs> I'm Debumpo. I'm going to eat rocks, so you have to shit them out, H. Crumpo. <laughs> we all know when anal trauma comes on the court, Debumpo takes over. <laughs> <laughs> Check and <in>, mate. <laughs> anal trauma. <laughs> anal trauma is their third personality. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm anal trauma. <laughs> I actually... Uh, it's just a Cialis commercial, <laughs> and they have a large black boyfriend. <laughs> anal trauma. <laughs> A Cialis commercial for old women and then younger men that they're fucking who don't need Cialis. <laughs> I use it to ruin her life and break her hips. I and it's just up. an old lady in a wheelchair <laughs> shakily giving a thumbs up and smiling. I debumpo. This was my idea because I thought you wouldn't like it. <laughs> I did, but for all the wrong reasons. I debumpo. This troubles me and pleases me. <laughs> I debumpo. I call it Meister instead of Jaeger. BDSM gets fucking wild. Wild when you're I'm older. I'm not releasing this. This is, too, <laughs> this is too deep into my own psyche. <laughs> That's why we must release it. The people have to know. I do. I have bumpo. I'm gonna make him release it. I do want to now film a TikTok of a, a Cialis commercial, but for 20-something-year-olds. It's like, do you want to break your elderly sugar mama's hips? <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to possibly kill her? <laughs> He calls me his sugar mama, but the only white powder is my osteoporinic bone. <laughs> do Why you, do I sound like a summary guy? Do you want to choke her until she has to take off her DNR bracelet? <laughs> <laughs> See, Alice, it gets the job done. The job being a hit out on this old white, white lady. <laughs> I Listen, said Sonny, I lady. want you to fuck my face so hard that I can't smoke through my mouth or my stoma. <laughs> Oh, there is definitely a porn of somebody uh, getting dick down stoma through fucking. the fucking stomach, yeah. <laughs> Which, for those of you who don't know, because I had to use context clues, is the hole that you get from lung cancer in your throat. Yeah. <laughs> or if you want to do weird sex. Or if you want to do weird sex. Have you ever seen the... I uh, can't walk anyway, Sonny. Ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. FDR was in that wheelchair because his gay black boyfriends used Cialis. <laughs> Bumpo. He didn't have polio. I just broke his legs every day. <laughs> Bumpo. Have you seen Misery? It was inspired by FDR's life. <laughs> uh, Bumpo. I told him it was okay to use nuclear bombs on civilians. <laughs> Bumpo. The longer the pause between the eh and the yeah. I'm Bumpo, the more I like it for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> He's charging his attack. <laughs> Yeah, he has to do that before he really whispers sin into the ears of world leaders. <clears throat> you should take the Donbass. Bumpo. Invade Ukraine. <laughs> Ride that horse with your shirt off. Bumpo. You should partition Palestine. Bumpo. Dude, what is D. Bumpo's take on if Vladimir Putin was a black woman? <laughs> Andy Bumpo. They should never be in power. Andy Bumpo. Oh, that, that, I should have seen yeah, that. Yeah, it's kind of run of the mill. Yeah, it's not no. super exciting. No, yeah, that was right over home plate, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy 86 mile an hour fastball. <laughs> Andy Bumpo. I like J.K. Rowling because she's cruel to trans people, but I don't like her because she brought joy to children. Andy <laughs> Bumpo. Yep, no, nope, this all makes sense. Andy I, Bumpo. I ghost wrote, when, <laughs> give a mouse a cookie. Andy Bumpo. Andy Bumpo. I wrote the Protocols of the Elders of Zion. <laughs> Andy Bumpo. There's a written document about Zionism and nobody saw that That's as... That's not what it is. Oh, okay. Protocols of the Elders of Zion was written by the Tsarist secret police to... Uh, so pretending to be the meetings of the secret cabal minutes that Jews had. Oh, okay. I was so gonna... basically, some Russian cops wrote down, let's kill all the babies, signed to the Jews. Oh, and they now, did a like, Fred Hampton. We're, okay, we're they did a Black doing... Panther. They did a kind of a Black, yeah. They did a Chicago Police. Similar, yeah. Yeah, it's astonishing I'm how... I'm Bumpo. I like the Chicago Police. <laughs> uh, I'm Bumpo. I am the Chicago Police. <laughs> You've been pulled over by me for sure. I'm Bumpo. The FBI gave the order on Fred Hampton, but I pulled the trigger. <laughs> I'm Bumpo. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just imagining a party clown being the one who <laughs> who offs Red Hampton. I hate it here. I really do. But yeah, D-Bumpo makes it a little this better. This is the only thing I can do. If I get too tired to really control myself, I just start doing D-Bumpo voice and talking about everything I hate. Yeah. it is. If you do drop into this podcast... It is very easy to to point us out as very racist, very terrible people. But we but it's the voice of Deep Bumble. <laughs> but we don't believe these things. We hate these things about American society. So we make them super obviously comical because they are. If you look just a little bit. <laughs> 
Planned Parenthood keeps getting bombed, but never once has a child in a cage had the outside of that cage bombed. Humpty uh, Bumpo, I abort wanted children. Humpty <laughs> Bumpo. Humpty <laughs> Bumpo, I'm pro all abortions. <laughs> Mandatory. <laughs> Only for certain people. Can you guess who it is? Yeah, I can. <laughs> I'm Italian. <laughs> I'm the Bumpo. I think Italians deserve rights. I'm the Bumpo. <laughs> That's his most non-radical belief. <laughs> is that he thinks some people some should people. have rights. But it's Italians, so... But only blonde-haired, blue-eyed Italians. Yeah, from the north. <laughs> I'm Debumpo. Sicilians were spawned by... Debumpo actually <laughs> said it. We had to cut it out. <laughs> hard R. <laughs> Radio edit. <laughs> I'm Debumpo, and I don't find hard R's hard at all. <laughs> they are second nature to me. I'm Debumpo. See, I did it by mistake. <laughs> I'm N. Bumpo. <laughs> 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 oh my god That's, Who could it be but D-Bumpo I'm gonna get that for a TikTok <laughs> Alright, the controversial one I posted today blew up So the, uh, people like the cumtown esque of this place But well, thank god we don't believe what Nick Mullen believes Boy, I'd kill myself uh, I'm D-Bumpo I was born in a real town full of cum <laughs> I'm D-Bumpo Yeah, no, we knew <laughs> I'm D-Bumpo I think Nick Miller is why Come Town is good. <laughs> Instead of Stav. Which is Debumpo. why Come yeah, Town good is good Stav. And Adam, I guess, but mainly Stav. Stav's the... Stav, that is the only situation in which Stav can be the straight man. And that's why it's so hilarious. <laughs> it's an insane person being straight man. That's why it's good. Uh, I'm Debumpo. I told Nick Miller to have that mustache. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm thinking of going just mustache soon. I'm warning you. I'm Debumpo. I think you should do it. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm getting laid I consistently. I have. So you what? You trying to change that? <laughs> no, but I have it locked down. So it's like might as well do crazy shit. You're prestiging. I yeah, kind of. <laughs> I'm making it harder for myself. <laughs> Starting over from zero, baby. Ah, <laughs> Bumpo, you should shave only the mustache. I also just want to see. That's actually probably a better thing to do. If you're trying to prestige. Um, I uh, I just want to see if I can grow out the hair of the villain from the professional. And also have just a mustache. I really just want to see if I have a double that's chin. That's Jim Gordon, here. by the way. That's Jim Thank Gordon you. from The Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how that's going to look. That. You, do you think that Jim Gordon is the actor's name? Is that what you think right now? No. Did but, you think that for a second? No. Did but, you? No. Ah, Bumpo. I think <laughs> he thought that. He thought that. <laughs> um, Bumpo. That is, that is what I'm going for, though. So, growing out the hair, shaving just, just a stashy boy. I'm the Bumpo. I'm the hero that Gotham deserves. <laughs> Not the, and the one it needs. <laughs> D-Bumpo would be the Joker. Come on. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm D-Bumpo. My father wasn't a drinker, but I carved my face up anyway. I'm D-Bumpo. I'm D-Bumpo. My mother was a drinker <laughs> while I was in the womb. <laughs> uh, oh, no, D-Bumpo cannot have a sympathetic backstory. D-Bumpo doesn't, doesn't have fetal alcohol syndrome. No, he got into his mom's head from the womb and convinced oh. her to drink. <laughs> I'm D-Bumpo. I'm your unborn child. Commit crimes. I'm D-Bumpo. I'll bite my way out unless you vote Republican. <laughs> his mom, he convinced his mom to fight in the UFC until she was forced <laughs> to be. <laughs> I'm D-Bumpo. I want to be born by a shin strike to the abdomen. I'm D-Bumpo. <laughs> Idris Elba will be the only one who brings me to He's in my term. head. I can fucking hear him talking. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm crazy. You have to make it stop. <laughs> yeah, I wonder... I'm D-Bumpo. The doctors won't believe you. <laughs> I wonder, are you allowed to take schizophrenia medication while you're pregnant? I'm D-Bumpo. You're not. <laughs> oh. I'm D-Bumpo. It wouldn't work if you were. I'm real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Debumpo. Try and abort me. It'll make me more powerful. <laughs> I'm like Obi Wan of abortions. I was supposed to be septuplets. <laughs> <laughs> I ate them all. <laughs> I took all the worst parts of them. Ninety percent of my brain is a foot. <laughs> Debumpo. <laughs> this is what Republicans actually believe, liberals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Debumpo. Two of my eyes are twice the size of the other. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, you think my eyes look symmetrical? Where's the other one? No, the math just didn't add up. <laughs> I'm the bumpo. I like calculus. You're essentially the clown from it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I debumpo. You're a gay bill hater. I'll tell people. <laughs> why was it? He was so famous. He could have easily come out. I don't know why it was a secret. I'm debumpo. I don't know. <laughs> we should shave the po- shave my beard on the podcast. I'm not doing a video podcast. Yeah, that's fair. That would just sound like. <laughs> oh, it's so smooth. <laughs> No, I don't have a proper razor, so it would still be a little bit of stubble. Uh, I'm the Pompa. I don't have anything to say. I just, I'm kind of caught in the loop. <laughs> H. Rumpo still exists. H. Rumpo is still broadcasting on NPR right now. I'm H. Rumpo, and I've been talking about the same thing for 30 minutes, and I have kind of a point, but I'm really not doing anything with it. I'm pretty much just white noise at this point, because nothing I say will ever be taken seriously. I'm the Pompa. That's the only kind of noise I approve of. I'm the Pompa. <laughs> Liberal tea. I have a mug that says liberal tears. I'm the bumpo. I'm the bumpo. It's actually full of those. It's not a bit. <laughs> I'm the bumpo. I know how to milk your tears. <laughs> it's by putting kids in cages. I'm the bumpo. I can treat a liberal's eyes like a hawk house at us. I'm the bumpo. Ooh, if you actually, if you want to find a good place to donate to, follow Close the Camps on Facebook, and they do post some pretty solid donation links, but their memes are ass. I de bumpo. I made the memes bad so the children would stay in the concentration camps. And seriously, oh, no, no donate, matter, donate to those. Yeah. Things. No matter uh, how good your memes are, it's not going to get the kids out of the fucking No, camps. it's uh, it's going to be money and violence that gets them out of the cages. Oh, my God. If we could just start the violence, that'd right. be great. I'm the bumpo. I'm the one that convinced the working class that violence is wrong. <laughs> if, yeah, by the way, if you are thinking of starting a violence against... Um, the state, rich people... Uh, camps that house children against their will and the will of their parents. Um, yeah, no, you're not crazy. Do 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 it, yeah, and then yeah. I'll be the next guy behind you. Also, I just need uh, if I- you get shot defending an ice camp, you go to hell. <laughs> oh yeah, period. They don't check. They don't weigh your heart next to that crocodile thing from Egyptian mythology, which from I've been Doom. reading a lot about. Uh, you just go straight there. Yeah. They send you to Valhalla, uh, and you're in Valhalla so that warriors can just kind of, just kind of no, yeah, flick you're your the, face a lot. You're no, you're the dummy that they train on before they go to real battle. Exactly, yeah. You're, I'm the bumpo. I was once an ice agent, and I was cursed into this existence. <laughs> well, rightfully so. <laughs> if let me make this clear, if you are an ice agent, if you work for the border patrol, if you are killed defending the border patrol, cops, nope, <laughs> has literally. One good station, and it's the people who sit at customs and are like, you're coming into the United States, I am recording that, go. <laughs> that is the only good position on Border Patrol. whatever. Be- just for clerical reasons. <laughs> but other than that... They're not allowed that, to say whether or not they're allowed to Yes, no, it's, it's like, like... You're bringing seven tons of marijuana? It's seven? Okay, go. <laughs> sure, it's seven. I gotta get the numbers. That is what... There's yeah. actually one person who they stop at Border Patrol. Debumpa, <laughs> and I'm hiding under this RV. Well, good. Keep him out. <laughs> I'm Debumpo. I'm already inside of you. <laughs> oh no! Oh my God! My ass is blown out, and he's crawling out my mouth. How am I speaking right now? I'm just kidding. It's me, Debumpo, doing his voice because I've cut all his vocal cords. I'm working him like a puppet. <laughs> I'm the Bumpo. Why am I from Brooklyn? <laughs> well, nobody knows, but it makes sense. <laughs> I'm the Bumpo. I'm definitely from Williamsburg. Tattoos are expensive where I'm from. A hundred dollar minimum. I'm the Bumpo. You should get a tattoo of something cool, but make sure you... I forgot where I was going with this. I'm so tired. What time? I'm actually oh, yeah. stuck in this voice. We are, we're at, we are at 42 seconds until an hour. Uh, oh, God. Uh, the name of this episode is D-Bumpo, obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. D-Bumpo's G-Crumpo. <laughs> D bumpo, I'm literally just running out the clock now that I know we're 42 seconds. I, or whatever. Just, frankly, I just uh, let's let's hit some plugs, I guess. Um, uh, you do plugs. I'll do I'll do D bumpo's theme song in the background. <laughs> uh-huh. It's not B bumpo. It's not G frumpo. It's not me mumpo. It's me D bumpo. Linkti.e forward slash it's just bits. We're gonna have a new. We're gonna start posting. Um, it's just crits to it specifically. It's just. Risk. Crits channel um, and then me and Hannah are going to have another podcast under our little umbrella uh, coming out in forever from now uh, <laughs> it's called the Debumpo podcast and it just breaks down this episode minute by minute uh, I'm inscrutable you won't find out shit I'm Debumpo <laughs> it's really a harrowing backstory he was a cancer survivor oh uh, fuck what's going to happen the next time at work someone talks about the Debump 
<laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, not I'm not cutting that. I came out on beef. Uh, Continue with the plugs. Um, yeah, check out our merch. But before you check out our merch, donate to fucking causes. Uh, donate to unions. Are there any? There, are, there aren't any union strikes going on right now, are there? No, there's not. That's why I've had uh, medical nice. debt. Medical debt's been our uh, donation for the past. Little Good, while. perfect. Let's go to medical debt. Um, you can also go to ChicagoBondFund.org. Also a good one because they're probably still fucking marijuana charges. Uh, I'm Debumpo. I think people should languish in jail because they can't pay bail. Remember, Debumpo's a bad guy. I hate it place. here. <laughs> I'm Debumpo. I love it. <laughs> um, if you don't like this capitalist hellscape, you can either form a union or start donating. And then when the riots start, uh, join I'll, them. I'll give you a meetup location and we'll actually release this podcast in a timely manner so it makes sense when we <laughs> release the, the fucking thing. Um, I'm D Bumpo. I'm H Rumpo. And these have been the plugs. <laughs> It's over, folks. That's all, folks? <laughs> That's all bumpos. By the way, hello, children. I'm Summary Goblin. All of the evil has gone into D-Bumpo, and I'm a good guy now. Journey <laughs> <Journey> 2024. <laughs> gang, Just gang. kidding. There's no hope.